What is up, heroes? It's Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we finished up the B side of the summit, chapter 7. And in this episode, we are going to start chapter 8, the core. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, we've been waiting quite some time for this. So, about a year later, a year after the events at the end of the main story, we are playing as Madeline. We still have our double jump. And we run into this old lady yet again. Hey there, kiddo. Nice to see you again. Here's the cave I told you about on the phone. Follow me. Okay. In just a moment. Oh, there's no secret hidden up here? I'm surprised. That is something we'll have to keep in mind going forward. Okay. So we got some obstacles. Wait, what? Did my... Oh, it didn't come back. Why? Interesting. What is this place? This passage leads to the center of the mountain. You said you wanted to come back and explore deeper. Doesn't get any deeper than this. I guess that's a fair point. Be careful, though. When you get this close to the heart of the mountain, its power will start affecting you differently. Yeah, I already noticed some of that. Good luck in there. Of course. Of course they have to add a new mechanic. Oh, and you can see the, the kind of crystal heart design in the background. That was a really cool animation. I like that a lot. Okay. Is that a, like a conveyor belt? That's really cool. Okay, and we don't have our... Uh... Oh no, this reminds me of the Meat Boy conveyor belts. Alright, well... Uh, they're obviously teaching us how to use the conveyor belts now. I love, like, the, the fire and all that stuff. Very cool looking. Alright, well, let's see here. Huh. What's going on up there? There's gotta be something up there, right? I guess it is worth noting there are potentially strawberries now that we have to find again, so... I don't know, I'll... Keep it in mind, I guess. There's gotta be something up there. Well, uh, for now... What do these do? Oh. Okay. Oh, the, the, the death screen is a heart. That's pretty neat. I think that's, like, just indicative of what the core is. Okay. So we made it up here. Alright, well, I obviously... Oh, wow. So I, I could have gotten a lot more height out of that. Hmm. Is there something up here that I'm... That I'm missing? I feel like they wouldn't just have this for decoration. They might. They very well might. I wouldn't expect it. But maybe. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll, I guess I'll leave that for another time. Interesting. So it appears to move in whatever direction you uh, make contact with it. So with that in mind, let's do that. Alright. Anything over here? No? I guess I can do that to... Oh, I probably should not have. Yeah. I'm gonna have to really utilize everything to make my way up. That's okay. Now we can go either left or right. Where do we want to start? Man, everything is heart-themed if you look at the background, which, by the way, is very well designed. Are these more of like the... are these the bumpers? Oh! I guess not. Then how am I supposed to... So there's clearly a strawberry. And it most certainly has to do with... 
something involving that. Do I have to dash into it? Do I have to come back for it later? After maybe like cooling down the center or something? Hmm. It's very odd. I guess, uh, I guess we'll find out, right? Okay. I can probably just kind of jump through here. If I time it a little bit better. It's probably easier the other way, honestly. So, we'll just fall and... I need to account for the, uh, the momentum. had the finesse there, but I guess not. It's a mix of, like, knowing where the fireballs are, landing at the appropriate time, but then also not clinging too long, right? Because then you just gain a ton of momentum upward, and then you inevitably end up in the fire you're trying to avoid, right? I think I should just use one of my dashes. I think I can. Yeah, <laughs> that was that made things a lot nicer. There's something down here. No. All right, then we'll continue on here. It is worth noting, I guess there are strawberries to be found now, and I must have missed whatever mechanic was necessary for that one. Hmm. Oh wow. That really propelled me upward. Should have used one of my dashes there. Wasn't as uh, tight with regards to the timing as I thought. Hmm. I feel like one of the uh, strawberries would be maybe like up one of these corridors, right? Something like that, but maybe not. I'll keep an eye open for any breakable wall segments or the like. Ooh, so this will be interesting. Any area, any secret area? Nothing jumping out at me. Obviously. What? Oh, I thought that was part of the background. Wow, okay. What is this? Oh! Oh, so that's how I get that strawberry. I need to flip one of these switches so it's one of the, like, cold ones and I can bounce off of it. Oh, now we got ice physics. Oh, great. <laughs> great, we got ice physics, my favorite. I'm probably gonna make our way back over. Can I jump on these? Oh, I can! Can I, like, get an extra boost if I time things right? I can. That's neat. Oh, I missed. In the words of a famous evil plumber counterpart, though I missed. Oh, and I can't, I can't wall climb in that sense either. Hmm. Because everything's all slippery, presumably. Now we can go back to the left. It's neat. It's so different now. Anything up there? No, nah, it seems not. Oh, and I have to jump on top of those. Otherwise, they do... They are harmful. It's good to know. I can't jump on that. That surface definitely looked different. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Because, look, the, the left side of that post looks significantly, you know, icier than the one on the right. Yeah, that's what they're they're teaching me. That I can't rely on those surfaces. 
Oh, neat. So I'll have to jump up there. But we'll, we'll go over here and get this first. Interesting. Oh, I thought I'd, I thought I'd make it. That's tough, but that's that's cool. I like that. <laughs> My angle was a little off there, if you couldn't tell. No! I obviously need to use one of my dashes to get over there, and then one of them to get back. Oh, I keep thinking I'm going to move further to the left. So my aerial drift is off a little bit. Hmm. That didn't work. I need... Oh, that's right. I need to uh, refresh completely. Oh, wow. And that's how I overshot it. Okay, game. Okay, game. This, uh, this room giving me a little bit harder of a time than I had initially anticipated. Darn. Can I get a little bit higher up? Nope. A little bit more. A little bit more. That was not enough momentum. Alright. So I've got to go for basically this and then that. Aw, oh, man. I'm not going to make it, though. We ain't going to make it. I have to shift my momentum back to the right there. And that seems to be what's giving me the most trouble right now. So, let's see what we can do. Oh man, <laughs> that's how I overshot it. That's definitely not going to be it. Patience. There we go. 171. It has been a minute since I've heard that uh, that sound effect. Oh man. A little bit. Wait a little bit longer. There we go. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Before I, uh... Yeah, before I convert it back, I want to see if I can make it even further. That's pretty neat. I don't I don't know if it's 100% possible. Seems like it may be. But for now, it's okay. We will, uh... Oh, I should have gotten... I had to get one of the crystals. Oh, what, oops. I hope one of the strawberries isn't hidden in one of these little alcoves. Just because I feel like that would be... Well, I can understand wanting to hide it in one of those alcoves. Like, it is a spot that lends itself to hide these types of collectibles. I don't know. I don't think it's very fair to have the, the player going through all of them just to try and find that one. Um, what are these? Can we use those at all? No? Oh, that's right. I have to, I have to remember my dashes don't come back. So I need to be very careful about how I use them. Ooh, so I gotta make my way up there. That was not an effective bounce. There we go. Oh, I thought I'd grab the wall. There we go. Alright. Aw, oh, man. Oh, 
Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm not gonna get a bounce off the platform now. Oh, and then those can, uh, switch it back. Oh, wow. I went flying there. There we go. Okay, we made it to a nice little checkpoint. I'm sure we've already missed uh, a strawberry or two, but that's okay for now. Interesting. Oh man, that was close. Whew. That was very, very close. Oh man, didn't quite make it. But I'm pretty sure I can actually use one of my dashes to get up there and try to. So that we will. I wonder what happens if I try to go back. Because I'm fairly confident there was a segment in the top right. Maybe this is a little bit much. Given how the game is reacting to me, trying to do this, maybe that's true, but I'm curious as to what's up here. Like, I don't know if this is even the right way to go about this, potentially. Oh, uh, no, I, I used the dash. Oh no! I am getting bounced all over the place. But, nope, this was the right thing to do. Oh, that's right, I can't grab onto it. Why am I trying to, why am I trying to grab onto it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> I can't even believe that I survived that. That was, uh, that was comical. So I definitely can make it there without even having to use my dash. I just place myself right. Oh. The tough part is that last bit. No, I was so close. I feel like getting back shouldn't be the, the tough part. There we go. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> it's so tough to finesse it so that you just get in there. Oh, what? How did I... You guys look at that. You guys look at that again. How was I not touching the wall there? I call hacks. What? Come on. Come on. Come on. No! No! I swear this is designed so that it's more difficult to get back than it is to go forward. But at the same time... I've gone through this without having much difficulty at all, making it back, right? Where I've been bouncing around and all of a sudden ended up all the way on the left side, without even having to worry about, you know, going from bumper to bumper. There we go. That makes it two strawberries. And now we get to go back on over. And it should be a lot nicer on the way back than it was on the way there. So cool. I should have taken much more of a look at what I was going to be 
doing before I uh, jumped out there. So it looks like we're gonna have some. Oops, that was. Uh... Oh, actually, almost, almost managed to wing that. Ooh, I see. Almost. A little bit too far to the right there. But it is pretty cool that they're, um... Changing, you know, like in the middle of the, the level. Or the room, I should say. Uh, almost. A little bit tough because I don't have a dash to, you know, adjust myself in the middle of that. A little bit more... I think what I'm going to use as a landmark is there's like a chain hanging from the ceiling there. I'm going to go just a little bit to the right of the chain. There we go. No! How... Do I do that? I need to dash to the right and then upright, and I need to do it like perfectly. Alright, we're going to go for it. We're going for it. Darn it. Missed the switch. Ooh, that's another thing that's going to make it particularly difficult. Hmm. I've got one idea. I need to use the bumper. There we go. Cool. So that marks three, count them, three strawberries. Are those there just for, like, chaos or to actually be useful? Oh, man. That is <laughs> tough. Oh man, that was not very helpful. Oh man, I almost made it through. I almost made it. I had to hit the switch. It's alright, I'm starting to see a pattern. That was not the pattern I had in mind, but um you know what? We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make it work anyways. We didn't. We didn't, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm fairly confident that that was not the right way to start off the level. Um, that there is a secret if we follow one of, the, one of these columns all the way up to the top. You'll notice that a lot of them kind of end off um, off the top of the screen. However, when we make our way to the right, I thought I died. There is one that allows us to go up like this. And this, I believe, is going to let us access a strawberry. So that will flip that switch. Does that mean... It means I need to come back up here. So I need to flip the switch and then come back up. What? Huh. So maybe... that's for the way back? There's something I'm missing. I don't know what. And I don't like it. I bet... Yeah, I need to flip that switch there and then climb up. Which was obviously a lot more difficult. So 
So I need to make my way to that switch. Hit the switch. So, I need to work to the right. I need to bounce off the things. And I'm not going to get my dashes back. So I should really try to do so without using any of my dashes. Jump over there, hit the switch. And then these will turn into fireballs. So it's probably advantageous for me to try to, you know, start low and climb my way up. And that way I get rid of a lot of these things, which will turn into fireballs. And that way it'll be easier for me to climb up. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's try it. No, I, oh, that was the right idea. That was the right idea until I used my dash. I should not have used my dash at all. just need to dash or jump over to the right. I need to jump off of one of these blue rocks and that will be um, enough. Oh, almost. Almost. That's the idea though. Almost! No! So close! I shouldn't have used one of my dashes on the way. Because I know it's possible to get up there without using any of them. Or to at least get to that point of the level while still having it. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, no! I, I missed the, the rock. Darn, that transition is always challenging for me. I almost had it. Almost had it. I felt like that could have been it if I had actually hit the switch. I obviously did not. So it didn't work out, but that's okay. So I do feel like we are making progress, which is very important. There we go. Now we are up here. Now we can get this strawberry. Now, huh, why is this here? So I could go that way, or I could go this way. Huh, I wonder why that block is here. It's there to fling me, which way am I supposed to get flung? I mean, I obviously already used my dashes, which was definitely a waste, but I'm curious as to what happens if I go down this way. I guess we move on? Yeah, it doesn't look like there's an opportunity for me to go back, so there's something we missed. We missed it. Ooh. That's tough because the uh, the fireballs like overhang a little bit. Oh, we were so close. So close to making it. Oh, I thought I was past it. All right, all right. What's worth noting is that I get significant more height if at the end of the conveyor belt I hit the jump button, which 
It's not surprising, but it's maybe not necessarily a given. So I figured I would state that that is something I have I have learned and I am now utilizing. Granted, it seems that it's thrown off my my timings a little bit. So maybe it wasn't the best idea, but. Oh man, I was so close. I could have used my dash at that point. Just to stabilize myself in the air. But I did not. Man, it's that last little bit. All right, there we go. Oh man, is there something over here? No, okay. I had to check though, you guys know it. You guys know I had to check. All right, oh man. Oh, I had to go to the right. I know you guys are no stranger to the uh, the floor is lava game. All right, all right, we're we're cruising. Oh no, and I missed that jump. Of course, I wanted to. Um, for those of you that are like, how did you mess that up? I wanted to land like right on the end of the conveyor belt so that I get maximum upward pull. Or momentum, I guess. There we go. Oh, flip the switch! Oh man, missed that. But this is pretty cool. Wait, no, why do I keep messing up this this beginning part? This is supposed to be the easy part. Aw, oh, man. So the speeds of the little spinies definitely change over time. Or the, the higher up you go. Alright, alright. Oh, man. Oh, and I can't, uh, grab the wall there. We keep on going up. We keep on going up, guys. Ooh, this is tough. And grab on here and then... Oh, I definitely have to save one of my dashes to get up through there. That's, um... That's tight. Even this part's really difficult. <laughs> Just to time. I mean, the, the conveyor belts are, okay, they're a little bit more manageable here, but it's afterwards, using your air dashes. Okay. Ah, I got too eager. That's all right. I did it again. I thought I could wait a little bit longer and I thought I would, but for some reason I did not. There we go. No secret. This reminds me of Meat Boy. Oh. Oh man, this is so close! Wow, that was 
intense. To say the least. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Okay, okay. Oh no! Oh, and there's a strawberry there. Okay. This will make a fine addition to my collection. Aw, <laughs> oh, darn it. Oh, it comes back though. Oh, we almost made it. If I had saved one of my dashes there, we would have we would have had it. Uh-oh. I didn't even get the strawberry. Okay. Not quite, not quite. Oof, that was that was a tight timing. And wow, there it that is right on you like right off the bat. Oh, I went too far to the left. Come on! Oh, really? I thought I'd be able to pick it up in time. This is such a cool concept, by the way. Oh, that's. I can already tell that's going to be pretty tight spacing. They're very vertically close together. Which means... They're gonna really force you to uh, go back and forth there with um, really. What? No! Come on! Oof! Uh, is this like a boss fight or something? Ah, I see. I was like, excuse me? This, this Doesn't it, like, with the border of the lava and everything? It looks like it would be. Oh, this is totally a boss fight. Wait, what? Okay. So it's definitely a race against the clock. Interesting. So it goes down the further it's like that. Obviously, I can't let it go too far down, though. Okay. Alright, alright. Okay. We'll wait a little bit. Alright, now you can go down. Give ourselves a little room to breathe. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whew. Any strawberries? I don't see any currently, and I don't know why I just walked off there, but that's okay, I guess. Anything? No, it doesn't seem so. I've just gotta make it over as fast as possible. Oh, so close. Okay, I probably shouldn't use my dash there in the beginning. You know what? I bet there's totally something if I go back. Nope. <laughs> Turns out there isn't. But hey, I, I you can't blame me for thinking that might be an area for, you know, hiding a secret. That, like, screams secret strawberry to me. Anything else? No, it doesn't seem so, at least. Oh, man. That was, that was tight timing. Oh, speaking of tight timing. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a little like spike there that's there to kill me. I did not see that there at first. That is definitely good to know.
Hmm, I feel like there's a strawberry in that lower right corner, but... Oh, what? Not, not exactly what I expected, but it doesn't look like there's a strawberry there, at least. So again, which may I? <laughs> okay, back, back to the action. To my favorite golden feathers. This is a pretty cool segment. You know, all things considered. I'm trying, trying my best to keep an eye out for a strawberry. Not really seeing much, but hopefully you guys can forgive me if, uh, if I don't see something when it's moving that quickly. Oh, I thought I was gonna like land on the platform. I wonder if I get extra distance if I jump when that gold feather ends. Nope, at least doesn't seem like it. Okay. Ooh. Final room. Okay. Oops, I should not have. Why was I using my dashes like that? All willy-nilly. And now I've, uh, lost my opportunity. Seems like the level extends quite a bit, though. Which is good to know. Okay, that was... Really poor timing. Okay. Now. Nope. Still not good timing. And still poor usage of my dash. Wait, what? Why did it start moving so quickly? Is this... Oh, that's right, there's still B-sides to unlock. Huh. Okay. So we've unlocked the B-side. That's pretty cool. Why is my... My motion is so, like... I feel so much resistance to movement. I'm moving so much more slowly. This is it? Oh, and my dash comes back. This is what's at the center of all this? Are we actually at the the center? It's so empty and vast. What? What? Yet it feels nostalgic somehow. This is so neat and peaceful. I mean, I definitely agree. What happens if I keep going? No, I can't. It's okay. All right. So I guess we've got an 8th Crystal Heart. Heart of the Mountain. Nice. And with that, we completed Chapter 8. Aww. I love that art. And I love how the chapter ended, how peaceful it was, the, the cool visual aesthetic of, you know, being actually at the, the core of the mountain. Very neat. Very neat. And I like the mechanics in that level. The going back and forth between the fire and ice. Ooh, and we got all five strawberries on our first pass through. Nice. Now that, that is what I like to see. And, oh my. What is this? Is this, this is chapter nine. Okay, that's chapter nine. So, in the next episode, we're going to go for the B side of chapter eight. Um, what might be the most difficult B-side yet, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The challenge is always exciting, and then I hope you guys are too. And then, I think we unlock the C-sides. I actually don't know how you unlock the C-sides, but I'd imagine it comes from beating all of the B-sides. So, cool. That, uh, that sounds good to me. Well, we can give it a go. Another time. We have all these crystal hearts. Global Steam stats. Huh. Neat. Yeah. Uh, but I think this is definitely a good ending point for today. So, 
Thanks again for uh, for watching, for tuning in, for seeing what happens one year after our original venture on Celeste Mountain. And I hope you're looking forward to the challenge that comes with the B-side and then all the C-sides. And then finally, the, the end of the, star the story, the farewell, chapter 9. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.